Browns Ravens are fascinating game. Yeah, that's, that's my game for the week. The is it? Is your game of the week? Or yeah. well, let's key looking in on that. To it. Why is it your game of the week? What you're most looking forward to seeing? I just think things haven't come together quite in the way that either side would have wanted just yet. I'm I'm so interested to see how Mayfield and Jackson, you know, that's a, a matchup. I just mm. the the two the two talents, the, the two different personalities. So um, if you could, if you going back to your, your chat at the top mm. front office, this is Hugh in 15 years, and you're running yeah, yeah. an NFL franchise. You could pick one of those quarterbacks to build your team around. Who would you go with? <sighs> I mean, it's, it's it's for me, it's a difficult one, but I think the arm of Baker Mayfield and the, and the more uh, listen, you know, it's not a huge guy or anything like that. But the more classic style rather than the running style. Um, and again, uh, you know, he puffs his chest out a little yeah. bit more as well, Baker Mayfield. For me, he's got to rein it in a little bit. Yes. Um, he's probably puffed it out a bit too far, uh, ruffled some <laughs> feathers for a lot of people. But yeah, I yeah. think genuinely, if, he, if his head switched on, I almost think he should get, you know, look, the, the line's not protecting him as much. Mm. He's hanging on to them, both these quarterbacks, but, you know, Mayfield in particular hangs on to the ball yeah. far too long. Yeah, and he, yeah. and he, he's got that far gunslinger vibe yeah, yeah. where he forces the issue and that is electric when it pays off but when it doesn't you just you know when he's throwing it to triple coverage yeah, or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. just tearing your hair out yeah I, I, I really like Jackson but I, I won you know if, if I was saying like who's going to be our next Tom Brady I'm just I wouldn't pick the runner do you know what I mean yeah. because I think he will you know, eventually he's going to get some big hits and, and you know, he, listen. He's, he's shown a, more this season, now, hasn't he? That he's going to throw yeah. it. Yeah, he has. But, but has he shown the accuracy? I think in the first couple of games, yeah. admittedly against weaker defences, yeah, he yeah. did. I think, you know, it was difficult last week against the Chiefs, but, you know, he kept them in it. Do you think he's got the better arm of the two? No, I don't think necessarily no, yeah. he's got the better yeah. arm of the two, but I do think he's got a better arm than a lot of people think he has. Mm -hmm. I think he's demonstrated that. But, uh, and also, I think if you, your point about Mayfield and his moxie and his swagger, like, mm. I totally get that. And, mm. Yeah, maybe it is over exaggerated at times off the field, but on the field, yeah, players want to play for him, and and it's galvanised a really, really jaded Cleveland mm. franchise. But at the same time, I think if you look at uh, how the Ravens got back into that game last week against the Chiefs, I think it's not necessarily uh, you know a, an issue for for Jackson either. So it's a really fascinating matchup. One stat I saw that. Uh, and props to Tom and our team for, for wheeling this out. I can't take any credit for it at all. Baker Mayfield against teams with a record of 500 or better, Hugh. What do you think his record is? Uh, he's won every game? One and six. Oh, one, one, lost six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again, it's a, it's a, it's a sample size. <laughs> well, I, I, listen, I, I think it's going to be the game of the weekend, yeah. but I don't think the Browns, I, I actually don't really give them any chance of winning. I just think it's going to be a really good game. Um, and, and just a contest that I'm intrigued to see. But I think the Ravens... You're taking will, the Ravens? Yeah, I think the Ravens will win it. Is that the Brown season done then, if, if they lose that? I think it might be. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, it's going to be very difficult to turn it Statistically around. Statistically from yeah, that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm taking Baker for the win. Oh, I'm really? I think they kickstart things. What, yeah. what, how? I think they have to. I think it's because they're, you know, I think they're in last chance saloon in that respect. And I think that he's the kind of player that will rise to that. I think Chubb has got a decent chance of getting some ground game going as well against the Ravens. Um, and I, I think Freddie Kitchens for the long term, I'm not buying uh, him as a head coach, mm. a credible head coach. But I think given all the preseason hype, given all the expectation about the Browns, I think it does come down to they have to win this game. I think they know that if they don't, they're in, they're pretty much kaput. So I think that will be enough to... Uh, to drive into the win, but it's going to be tight. It's going to be yeah, tight. I, and yeah, I don't feel wholly confident with it, but I want to believe <laughs> they can get it done. Hope you enjoyed the Nat Coombs show presented by Paddy Power Fantasy. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click subscribe to ESPN UK and you won't miss a trick.